as you know, every Monday we do have our weekly segment known as The Next Frontier. Dairy farmers in Kenya are set to benefit from the commercialization of embroid transfer, a breeding technology that is being introduced by Makonin Farm in Wasingishu County. The technology involves harvesting and implanting a developed embroid into a surrogate cow. This is expected to considerably reduce the cost of high-quality dairy heifers, something that will be welcome news for farmers. On this week's episode of The Next Frontier, Philip Kitani walks us through this new technology. Take a look. Makonge Farm, northwest of Eldore Town, is an expansive farm nested in Cherangani escarpments with hundreds of exotic Asha and indigenous Borana cows. As one enters the compound, he is met by tens of cows trolling the compound. I am then led to this metallic crash where this cow is confined. And here, Greg Onyango, an embryo transfer specialist, picks this plastic machine that is attached to a computer via code and takes me through what it's meant for. What you are going to do is, I'm going to do a demonstration of how to do over and pick up in a cow for, em for in vitro fertilization and embryo transfer. The process involves monitoring and stimulating a cow's ovulatory process, then removing an egg or eggs from its ovaries and fertilizing them in a laboratory. Now this cow, in a year, when you breed it uh, naturally through a bull or through artificial insemination, you can only get normally one, one calf per year. According to Greg, Formerly the egg is harvested from a superior breed animal, fertilized and implanted in an animal not necessarily of high quality breed. True fertilization and embryo transfer gives you uh, that benefit of getting more offsprings from this specific cow. This ultrasound machine helps one to monitor the dark spots that contain the oocytes or the unfertilized eggs from the superior breeds. Assuming we take those embryos, and transfer them to other cows, now less superior like Boranas. Actually, those are just pedigree Asha embryos, which have been transferred or implanted to Borana surrogate cows. So the harvested oocytes are later taken to the laboratory within the farm in tubes where they are fertilized with the sex semen or conventional ones. We have these eggs, we select them, select the viable ones because not all the eggs that you collect will turn into, are able to be fertilized and actually become embryos. According to Ruth, the process must be in tandem with the synchronization of the heat in the surrogate cow to ensure the process is a success. possible for this donor cow to give up to 50 calves in one year. This is because you can just produce eggs every two weeks from this cow, fertilize them and then spread them out into different recipients. Once fertilized, the egg is transferred to the recipient animal and a pregnancy diagnosis is done after 30 days using the ultrasound machine to know whether the conception happened. When you use IVF, it means that it's actually a shortcut, as you've said, because you skip all this crossing, all these inseminations until you get the pure ones. With the embryo transfer technology, one can improve their breeds in a shorter time compared to the use of artificial insemination or bulls. Embryo transfer technology is the ultimate shortcut for any dairy farmer who will love to achieve the pedigree status for his dairy cows in the shortest time possible. Philip Keitan for the next frontier.